Oh. Hey everyone, welcome to a terrible experiment. As a proud Mac user, I've done the unthinkable and installed Linux on my beautiful, beautiful little Apple computer. Sorry, Steve. Yuck. Let's see if we survive. So yes, I have installed not just Linux, but Arch Linux, by the way, which the people in the comments say is the most advanced, most greaterest uh, software in the world. And this is in fact installed on the bare metal of the computer. This isn't running in parallels. Believe me, I tried to install it as a virtual machine, but the uh, parallels tutorial on how to install Arch Linux basically gave up and said, look, just go onto the Arch website. And let me tell you, the Arch website is the most Linux website I have ever seen. My God, I didn't know what was going on there. So luckily I did find a tutorial by KSK Royale who had a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Asahi Linux, which is basically just Arch Linux, but made a little bit simpler. But even then I was sweating my pants off. It involved many weird terminal commands. It had a pre-boot thing going on. I almost pre-booted my pants. Luckily, the Kitai helped us out and crapped Arch Linux right onto this computer. So follow along people at home, especially Linux users, and tell me everything that I'm getting wrong. But apparently it's best to use the Wayland version of a session. I thought Wayland was a, 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 a bit of a tough guy to get along with, but he was living life on hard mode and so is using Arch Linux. Logging in. Sha la la la. Nice clean desktop. And yes, you might notice that um, I am recording this with a, a separate a camera back here because I don't want to risk igniting the atmosphere and blowing everything up like Oppenheimer trying to just screen record this business. So we're doing it old school. And while we're talking about security, big shout out to this video sponsor, Incogni. No, I don't want any Girl Scout cookies. Now die in a fire. You know what? I'm sick to death of getting these spam phone calls and spam emails because companies are stealing and leaking my data online. And I know what you might be thinking, but Sam, that's just how the internet is, you know? What could I possibly do? You can get incogni is what you could do. You see, incogni work on your behalf to remove your personal data from these data brokers. Like, have a look at this one that has over 500 million users in its database. Well, it's about to have 499,999,999 because Incogni is sending through a request to remove my data while I relax and eat a piece of watermelon. <laughs> Let Incogni work for you. It's quite good. All you have to do is set up an account and give them permission to contact brokers on your behalf. And the first hundred people to use my code word same time with the link in the description will get 60% off Incogni. Get a hold of your privates and try them out. Incogni. Let's open the Firefox web browser. So we've got a bit of a bit of a taskbar down here, a bit of a Windows-esque vibe. Yes! With the classic semicolon uh, sort of uh, launcher. Do I click start? I hit semicolon. Why doesn't that work? All right, beautiful. We have some YouTube here. Let's see if we can play. Okay, we get ads, volume. Okay, now I did hear, or more to the point, I didn't hear that volume is apparently still a problem. You can't hear things with the internal speakers, which is um, very considerate. Linux users, no one really wants to hear from them in general anyway, so now they've just been quiet in public. I'm a little mean to Linux. I love Linux. But, I, 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 but it's a love-hate relationship. Uh, let me try some headphones. Okay, okay. So audio does work through headphones, just not with the speakers. I don't know why that can be figured out. And good news, this is apparently running now with hardware acceleration. They've managed to backwards engineer to make that work. But I, I don't know how to enable any... Expose isn't a thing in Linux. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the gesture. That's okay, I'll do another gesture. Didn't understand that one either. Okay, so the file explorer is called a dolphin. Beautiful, very responsive. Are there any cool effects? Maybe command tab, control tab, option tab. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, I don't know how to make it look cool. <laughs> That's what every Linux guy says to himself. 
I don't know how to make myself look cool. Contact with a K? Oh, so it's a contact book. Here are my contacts, I have no one. Here's my calendar. Oh, now doesn't that look lovely? That doesn't scream nerd at all. Let's have a look at the app store. Discover currently cannot be used to install any apps. <laughs> the app store can't be used to search for apps or install apps because Linux. Okay, thank you, because none of its apps backends are available. <laughs> what are you doing with the apps backends? What dirty Linux is this? When people say Arch Linux, by the way, do they mean it's some sort of innuendo, some sort of sexual maneuver to do the Arch? Ooh, <laughs> you can use Pac-Man to catch little boards and run away from ghosts. To install the optional dependencies. Oh, this is just lovely. Here's the thing, Linux. I know I'm using the most complex of all Linuxes, but instead of a learn more button, why don't we program a fix it button? Or better yet, just fix it in the first place. Why can't an app store open apps because it wants to look at people's butts? But apparently there are apps here, like a fresh app. I, I, I don't want to break things, I don't want to break things too much. I just, I just need a, uh, like a writing app. Would that be under pa pages? Graphics page, network status, a katurtle. Do I want a katurtle? Simple second degree equation solver. <laughs> Simple and second degree equation solver, those, those terms, are, 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 they don't go together. Oh, a recursive fractal. Look at these dirty little penises the Linux people are doing. Okay, I'm already sad by this. Hopefully it came pre-installed with some sort of writing app. Let's have a look. Office, Ghostwriter, what the heck? Ooh, I am the ghost in the machine. And I'm sad to be here. Mail, I could go to Congress. I don't think they'd listen. Document viewer, what about a document creator? Oh, what, what am I missing? Yes, this uh, OS does need a little bit of development. Um, Kate, help me, Kate. Wow, this is fantastic. Oh, let's learn, shall we? What can we learn? We can get our marbles back. <laughs> well, it's a little too late for one of mine. Okay, interesting. So this is like a Google Earth if it was made by Encarta 95. Let's, oh, oh, whoa, Montenegro. Is that politically correct to say? Well, how about that? It comes with Linux maps installed. Historical map. You can go back in time and look at a historical map. <laughs> cool, did Australia, uh, half of Australia didn't exist according to history. Damn it, bring it back. Bring back Australia. That is not an option. Games, yes. Oh, finally, here's the Pac-Man I needed to install games. <laughs> okay, well, guys. Uh, uh, should, should we make the game the size of an ant? All right, so let's find out how we install apps. It's said to use Pac-Man, but with terrible graphics. <gasps> oh, shit. there's Oppenheimer. We're gonna blow up the atmosphere. Delete, cancel, get out of here. Oh, all right, let's try Kagold Runner. Play. Oh, <laughs> why put this boring text box over everything? Come on, this is not fun. Oh, don't have multiple things. Just let me play the game. Oh, why do I have to get a law degree just to play the running game? You've pressed a key. Oh, it comes with paint. <laughs> it looks just like the old Microsoft paint. Hello, Linux. Actually, let's just keep it at hell. That's where I feel like we are right now. Falcon web browser. Oh, Falcon is a free and open source web browser developed by KDE. Whoa. Wow, for such a cool animal, it's such a boring application. Ah, recorder. Let's see if we can record with the inbuilt microphone. Hello, hello. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear me? Mm. Tell you what, so far I'm incredibly impressed. Pulse audio volume control. That is too cool of a name for such a boring app. Oh, look, the silence makes a noise. That's so cool. I don't think it I don't think it understands how silence works. Info Center. Welcome to the Info Center. We're using up two gigs doing something. I don't know. Energy. How do I get more energy? Oh, oh. well, I see why it's called the energy page. It's pulsing with power. Look at that. Oh, dark mode. Okay, now things are looking cool. Workspace behavior. Well, is this telling the computer what to do or telling me what to do? Oh, this is the most boring explanation of everything I've ever seen in my life. It makes me want to invert. I think I might invert. Oh, I better not do that or else I might die. Mm, this is, this makes my head sad. User feedback. <laughs> Disabled. They don't want to hear, they don't want to hear from you. Of course, there's not one, but two calculator apps and a floppy drive. I'll tell you, I've never been more floppy. Take me to DOS, at least I think I know how to run DOS a little better. Okay, and that has been fun. Thanks for watching my Linux adventure on Mac, and now 
I pray that I can get macOS back on this thing or else my career is over. Thanks for watching everyone. Remember, check out Incogni. And until next time, keep Linux to yourself. Okay. Same time, signing off. And hopefully booting into Mac. How do I do that? Subscribe today. So we're Oppenheimer, we're collecting the uranium, we're dodging the Nazis. Stop peeking at this stuff. <laughs> I click this button and it tells me off. It says, stop peeking. Hey, you're the one who wanted to sniff butts. Come on. Okay, uh, how do I get help for this help app? Mm.